morning YouTube welcome back to cruise man's garage YouTube channel it is Sunday morning <laughs> a pretty nice Sunday morning actually it is let's see it is 8 12 in the morning and it's already 58 degrees out so it's gonna probably get up to about 64 65 today and uh, once again I just left my morning coffee today I was in Capel Texas at the Einstein's I like to change it up a little bit on the weekends I will go into more detail on why I do that in a future mode of vlog want to take a second to mention once again that uh, this video this motor vlog is sponsored by Bon Armor makers of armored pants and shirts for men and women and for all different kinds of uh, riding styles very popular with the adventure riding crowd and the touring crowd what I love about the Bon Armor as I said before is I can wear it underneath my uh, other gear and I'm going to talk a little bit more about Bon Armor here in just a little bit. But thank you, Bon Armor, for sponsoring this video. You can check out their website. I'll put the link in the description down below. And don't forget to use the discount coupon code shown on the screen, and I'll put it in the description as well. You'll save 15% when you order from Bon Armor. Now that brings me to my topic for today, and that is we're going to talk about riding gear. Very appropriate that Bon Armor is the sponsor. I get a lot of questions, uh, emails, and comments on the videos asking me what helmet I wear, what jacket I wear, you know, what kind of protection on my, you know, feet and, and gloves. So today I am just going to put it to rest and go through a complete list of the different riding gear that I use both winter and summer and even though technically it is the winter <laughs> like I say it's uh, in the mid to high 50s this morning so I don't really need to wear any winter riding gear but let's just get started and now first of all I want to say that these videos might be a little out of sequence because I did a video yesterday uh, where I talked about how I was going to talk about riding gear in a future mode of vlog uh, but it turns out this mode of vlog is going to be coming out before that one so uh, I know that might be a little confusing but they are out of sync so anyway I'm going to start with boots I wear the Tourmaster Solution 2.0 uh, riding boots. I think they're a good all-round touring boot. They're relatively inexpensive. I think they're about $120 a pair. That's pretty cheap for a riding boot. They're pretty comfortable. Uh, they're not that comfortable to walk in, but they're pretty comfortable for riding. They're waterproof. Uh, they have a zipper and a Velcro closure. And they just seem to fit me pretty well. So that's what I've been wearing for probably the last six or seven years. I think I'm on my third pair. Uh, my only real criticism about the Tourmaster boot is the, the sole of the boot is very slippery if you're on wet pavement. So you have to be very careful when you come to a stop uh, if it's raining out because your feet can go right out from under you on wet asphalt or wet concrete. That's my only real complaint about the boot is they need it needs a little stickier surface on the sole of the boot. So coming on up, I uh, wear Dragon jeans a lot. Sometimes if I'm on a if I'm touring long distance, I'll wear some Olympia riding pants. In the summertime, I'll wear a mesh riding pant. In the wintertime, I tend to wear the Dragon jeans because they have the Kevlar in the knees and in the seat and hip area. 
and that Kevlar is for abrasion resistance. Um, if you think that your regular blue jeans will withstand impact or abrasion on asphalt, you're wrong. But that Kevlar adds a tremendous degree of safety for uh, abrasion if you're sliding along asphalt, which hopefully none of us do. Now underneath those Dragon jeans, that's where the Bon Armor comes in. And I wear the Bon Armor lower garment, the pants. I wear the cool mesh because most of my riding is in warm weather, more so than in the winter. They do make a thermal uh, armored pant, but I have the cool mesh. And the cool mesh, basically, you don't even know it's there. It's so thin, you can see right through it. That's what I wear for impact protection. So the Bon Armor pant, the Cool Mesh pants, have the armor in the knees and shin area, as well as in the hips and tailbone area. Moving on up, I wear an Olympia Air Glide jacket almost year round. Now, if it's really, really cold, say high 30s, and I'm on a long tour on the highway, I might wear an Olympia three-quarter jacket. But my go-to jacket almost year-round, in fact I haven't even worn my three-quarter jacket this year, is this Olympia Air Glide that I have on right now. This is the Air Glide 4. They now have the Air Glide 5. And I've just had very good luck with Olympia jackets. I like the, the bright yellow for visibility. Uh, I like I just like the style. They fit me good. I like the liner. The liner in this jacket will keep me warm down to 40 degrees. I'm comfortable. And I can very easily take out the liner. In fact, I don't even leave the liner attached to the jacket. I just put the liner on, then I put the jacket on over the liner. And it's not uncommon that I will remove the Olympia armor from this jacket and wear my Bon Armor Cool Mesh shirt underneath it. So in the summertime, what that would look like is I would have on a t-shirt. On top of that, I'd have my Bon Armor, which provides the impact protection for the elbows and shoulders and the back. And then I would have my Olympia Air Glide mesh jacket on over that. It's very cool, very lightweight, and the Olympia armor is not as comfortable, and I don't feel it provides as good a protection as the Bond armor. So that's what I really like about the Bond armor is you can put it on underneath your other riding gear. And I'm wearing some leather gloves that I bought at Cycle Gear. I don't know the style. They're easy to find. They come in different colors. I think they come in red, blue, black, and white. And I think I paid like $20 or $25 for them, but I've seen them as high as $40 or $50. But I've had these gloves for probably two years. A Built is the brand, B-I-L-T, which is their kind of their store brand. And um, I also have another pair that look just like this, but they have a little gauntlet on them. And I haven't worn those yet, but I plan on wearing them this summer. And so these are warm weather gloves. They're perforated, but they have the knuckle protectors. They have a little Velcro, uh, Velcro closure around the wrist or hook and loop. And um, I just think they're pretty, pretty nice, pretty comfortable. Now, in the wintertime, I'll wear, I have a couple of different riding gloves I wear. I have the Olympia winter riding gloves, which are also yellow, kind of match the jacket. And they're probably the most comfortable winter riding gloves I own. And then I have the Kimimoto, which some of you saw my review of the Kimimoto gloves. And those are the ones you get through Amazon. I'll put a link in the description down below for all this stuff in case you're interested. 
but the Kimimoto gloves are actually warmer than the Olympia and they're also waterproof. The Olympia, I don't know how waterproof they are, but the Kimimoto definitely waterproof. So if I know I'm going to be riding in a wetter, wet condition, I would wear the Kimimoto's. Now some of you saw my review of the Duhon heated gloves, the uh, rechargeable heated gloves. Uh, those are very nice as well. However, it doesn't really get cold enough here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area uh, to warrant electric gloves. So uh, I probably won't wear those very often. It would have to be probably under 40 degrees for me to need an electric glove. And I just don't ride in sub 40 degree weather that often. Then we get up to the head protection. I wear a HJC IS Max 2 helmet. I currently have the pin lock insert in for the winter riding. I will remove that in the summer. And that's just to keep the shield from fogging up. And it does a good job. I also wear an LD Comfort kind of a helmet liner on top of my head. And I find that that does a couple of things. Number one, it covers my ears, so it makes the helmet a little easier to get on. And it kind of keeps the perspiration from your head from getting through to the helmet cushions and pads. So I don't have to wash my interior of my helmet as often by wearing that little helmet cap. Now in the winter time, that's what I wear in the summer, it's what I'm wearing today. You can actually see a piece of it right here, hanging down. That's kind of the back end of it. And I like that because it covers my neck. So in the summertime, it keeps the sun off the back of my neck, keeps me from getting sunburned. Now, in the winter time, I will wear a buff. Now I don't wear a balaclava. Again, it's not that cold here. But I do wear this uh, kind of a full length buff. And you can buy those anywhere. You can buy them at sporting goods shops. You see them all over. A lot of skiers wear them. And uh, you basically just slip it over your head. And then I just tuck the edges in around the helmet to kind of, and keep it in front of my mouth, kind of keep my uh, mouth warm. And it works great because it's got that wind stopper material uh, in the front to cover your neck, to keep the wind off your neck. So that's what I wear when I ride in the winter underneath my helmet. So that's pretty much my riding gear. What do you guys wear when you ride in the winter or in the summer? What, what is your riding gear? So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to visit Bon Armor's website. Check them out. Check out the description of the video for all the links to some of the gear that I have. I don't have all of it, but I have some of it down there in the links. And I appreciate you joining us on this Sunday morning, and I will see you next time on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.